hello welcome back so now we will learn what is asymptotic an analysis so today's topic is asymptotic analysis so first of all before starting with what is asymptotic and why it is so important so let me tell you uh, why we exactly need to learn asymptotic analysis so let's suppose imagine you are writing a code you are writing an algorithm and uh, you are solving a problem and you are developing an algorithm to solve that problem okay so let's suppose the person a solves the problem and also person b solves the problem so in this world one thing which is common in everyone is we don't have much time so let's suppose person 1 is solving the problem in 10 seconds and person 2 is solving the problem in 5 seconds so they both are getting the right answer but if you have to choose one of them which one should you choose obviously the one who is taking less time right so this is exactly the same thing with when we solve a problem using a program so we have to solve the problem we have to give away the answer and also we have to do it faster than the others so that's where this asymptotic concept comes in so to understand what is asymptotic we have to get a little mathematical so first of all let me tell you what is this uh, asymptotic means so this term asymptotic is uh, don't actually think of it as formal definition it is actually my way of explaining things so you can go to wikipedia and go through the actual definition but i hope it would be more than enough for you to understand what is asymptotic so let's see what is written in simple words we are classifying multiple mathematical functions within one specific category based on their tail behavior so which means what if we have multiple functions like we have function fx function gx function let's say mx we all are having these three function among these three function these two are behaving the same way so we will do what we will group them in one category and we will name this category something let's suppose linear we will term it linear so this sort of grouping of functions or making classification of functions is called asymptotic so for understanding better what is this tail behavior is we have to go a little bit mathematical so first of all we all know how to draw or a graph from a mathematical equation so this is a graph for this equation y is equal to 1 by x so here limit x tends to infinity 1 by x is equal to 0 so this is a graph so here we have a observation of this graph here with each increasing value of x this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis which each increasing value of x we see what first the x value is increasing then after some time the y value with increasing x is decreasing you can see it's decreasing so this sort of behavior is specific with this sort of function so each function has its own behavior so this behavior we have to observe and according to those behavior we have to group or classify functions within one so to make you understand a little bit better i have taken some graphs so let's see here here this graph represents y is equal to x square this graph is of y is equal to 2x this is x y is equal to x and this is y is equal to 1 by 2x so now if i have drawn this graph let's just imagine this is a digital graph and we are zooming out on it we are zooming out and zooming out and this image is getting smaller and smaller so after some clicks of zoom out how this graph might look like it would look like something like this here we see the difference between these three functions are getting close and close so they are coming close and this graph is increasing exponentially this graph is increasing exponentially so we can clearly see similarities between behaviors of these three graphs and which is completely different from behavior of this exact graph so that's why what we are going to do in this asymptotic analysis we would group these three together and name this one and this will be a different sort of uh, behavior so that's why these three are showing characteristics like linear characteristics with each value of x y is increasing linearly so we all understand what linear behavior is like if one like example x is y is equal to x plus 1 so if y is 2 
uh, if uh, x is 1 y is 2 if x is 2 y is 3 so we know the behavior of y is depending upon x so it is increasing linearly we always know that the value of y will always be 1 more than the value of x so this is linear behavior so the same way if we do like y is equal to 1 by 2x here also if let's suppose y uh, x is 2 then y is 1 x is 4 y is 2 here also we see a linear trend like depending upon the value here it will be multiplied with some constant and it will give the value of y here we both see the linear behavior among these graphs but in case of what y is equal to x square you notice the difference y is equal to x square first y value 1 uh, x value 1 sorry y value is 1 then after x value 2 y value 4 uh, let me write it over here then if x value is 3 then y value is 3 3 is 9 if it's 4 it's 16 so if i write down like 1 square 2 square 3 square and 4 square if we see over here these square values are keep on increasing the difference between them keeps on increasing so that's why the graph is getting steeper and steeper so it is not showing a linear characteristics it is showing quadratic characteristics so that's why this character this sort of function would be not uh, come under the linear characteristics so that's why these three functions can be termed as linear so how to represent linear how to represent quadratic functions this will be covered when we going to learn the asymptotic notations but this is the basic idea of asymptotics like what is asymptotic uh, means it means grouping of functions within one category like here these are linear category why these are showing linear behavior like with the increase of uh, value of x y is depending on x so that's why the difference between the values of x and y is keeping one or constant in each case but here the difference is also getting increased exponentially not exponentially like quadratically so which is what more than uh, the linear characteristics so the graph will be more steeper for the quadratic one uh, instead of uh, compared to the linear characteristics one so that's why these are the two types of uh, behaviors we have seen in this video so there can be a lot of behaviors like uh, log behavior like n factorial there can be any function if we just uh, implement the graph of it we can see that the curve is smaller or greater than other functions so how to compare two functions asymptotically we will learn it in the next video so hope you understand the concept of asymptotic so thanks for watching see you in the next one